Hey everybody, Grandmaster Ben Feingold here. Um, so it turns out um, when I had the headphones and the mic, um, this mic was never on. It was always the computer mic. And it was funny, when you have a list of the microphones, the name of the microphone on the computer and the name of this microphone are the same name. So I had some help and we figured out which one was which. However, I'm not using this microphone. I have a professional microphone, which I've always had, and I use it when I record chess.com videos or chess kid videos. Um, and we did some tests last night because I'm doing the pro chess league tomorrow to see which mic was better with everything. And turns out the mic they gave me is a lot better and we sort of set it up where it's perfect. Okay. Um, I did a couple of tests and the sound seemed really good to me. Um, now, for some reason, which I don't agree with, several of you said that when I make the video with my headphones on, I can hear the, the moves being made, and you guys can't, which I thought is good. If I'm playing the game, I want to hear the noise so I know my opponent moved. If I'm watching the video, I don't want to hear that, especially when I'm talking. Um, but I looked around my settings in my software, and I didn't see one that would allow you to hear it anyway. I'm sure there is one. I just, I looked around and I didn't see one. Um, to me, that's silly. But also, just because four or five of you said you wanted to hear the sounds, it could be that a thousand of you don't. So if I start putting the sounds, people say, why are you doing that? So I don't know. Whatever I do, you'll complain. Um, anyway, this should be the best quality video I've made ever on this channel. Um, best microphone, headset. Um, I think my picture's good where I'm not blocking the squares and I'm sort of good. Um, and also, um, I've played a lot of one minute and 30 second and three minute lately. So we're just going to play five minutes a day and I'll analyze the games. So I'll play three or four games. Nobody's challenged me to five minutes. So yeah. Okay. So this will be a five minute video and hopefully it'll be good quality. Should be. I'm at the chess center now. I'm actually in the room where we record everything. Um, okay, 1972. Um, yeah, uh, my my one minute rating has gone down about 200 points the last like six days. Um, I felt that one of my opponents was cheating uh, this morning, so I re reported him or her. So we'll see if I'm right. I played like six bullet games and it seemed like they were cheating to me. I don't know if they were, but I, I thought they were. Um, the other person was 100%. This is probably like 85%. Um, okay, G6. Usually when my opponent doesn't play C4 right away and plays like C3 or Bishop F4 or something slow, I like to feel kind of my King Bishop. I'm not sure why. I just like that. And I guess I'll feel kind of either Bishop also while I'm at it. And so this is a... Um, um, a Kali with an early B4, which I haven't seen before. Looks okay. C3 is a little weak, so maybe knight E4 is going to be good. Um, yeah, let's play knight E4. I have a threat. And I could push my pawns here. I, my knight will probably go to D7. And I could play C5. I'm not sure. Um, his king's on E1, so I'm thinking about playing pretty aggressively. Okay, I have a nice pawn on E4. Um, I could play f5, f4, e5. They both look good. Um, c5 looks okay. Um, well, since he played h3, I, I think I'll try f5, f4. Um, because if he plays g3, which is logical, his we a lot of kingside pawns, pretty weakening. Um, so I'd rather have black here. Um, I'm sure the computer says it's about equal, but I, I'd rather have black. In fact, I, I probably guess the computer says black's better. King's really safe, and um, I have a lot of space. Wow, tempting me to play f4. Uh, I am tempted. Okay. Yeah, bishop a3 is a strange move. Weaken z3, the bishop's not good on a3. So my opponent's playing pretty strangely so far, I'd say. Um, but I'm playing super aggressive, so that could backfire, but that's the way you should play when they play strange. Um, let's see. Queen g4 looks like a good move. Taking advantage of me giving away the g4 square. So I guess e5. I guess. Um, 
Okay. Don't see why not. Um, yeah, interesting position already. I could play like knight d7, f6, or bishop c8 to kick the queen. I can't play h5 because my g6 pawn would be hanging. Although I could preface it. I could play something like queen f6 or rook f6, then play h5 if I'm annoyed by the queen. Time's about even. Okay, castle surprises me. Um... Let's see, if I play f3, my e4 pawn is hanging. I mean, I guess I should develop a piece. Developing pieces is usually good. So let's do that. And my idea is to play knight f6. Okay, my rook is attacked by discovery. Maybe I'll preface knight f6 with rook f5. Then if bishop e6, knight f6 should be a good move, I think. Maybe. Um, looks good. So let's do that. Um, yeah, and maybe I'll play rook g5 next move also, which I didn't notice. Then queen h4 loses to rook takes g2 check. Again, I like my position, although it's pretty complicated. Ooh. Okay, that move looked really bad to me, but he's threatening my e4 pawn. Okay, so it's not that bad maybe. Um, okay, rook g5 is hard not to play because then his queen has to retreat and I have knight f6 or f3. So let's do that. Queen h4 is obviously a blunder because of rook g2 check, which I said earlier. Playing pretty slowly because I'm talking about the game, but that's okay. Queen f3, that's a risky move. No take backs anymore after what happened last time. That's right. Not that he's asking for a take back, but yeah, okay. Okay, let's do analysis and see if I was better the whole game or if I'm crazy, which is also likely. Okay, we'll start with g6. And, okay, so after b4, the computer slightly prefers my position. And, okay, knight e4 doesn't like so much. Okay, so this says I'm a little bit better or equal. Um, and I played f5. I thought about e5, I thought about c5. Okay, it doesn't like f5 because of what happened. Check. And then... It says he's better here, but I don't agree with that at all. I think black's better. Um, okay, depth 18 isn't very impressive for a stockfish. Um, okay, so probably it's equal. Bishop a3 seems strange to me. f4, wants him to take on f4. Okay, that makes sense. Probably f4 is a bad move because I have such a nice pawn structure and I'm probably playing too aggressively because he didn't castle yet. Okay, queen g4, e5 is the right move. Castling is a mistake. Knight d7 is the right move. Um, it doesn't like the move b5. It likes rook f5. Um, bishop e6 is what I expected. Yeah, d5 is, I think, really bad. So after knight f6, I'm practically winning because of his hanging d pawn. But I played rook g5. And obviously, I don't know if he mouse slipped or... I don't know what happened. Maybe he, because the thing is, if he plays queen e2, then f3 wins, or rook takes g2. Well, not rook takes g2, f3 wins. So, what kind of mouse slip is this? Where was he going? Maybe he was going to d1, and then he like let go. Maybe I don't know. Um, it says he's winning or much better after queen e6, which actually I didn't see. I didn't see queen e6. Um, that's hard. Okay, because my e4 pawn is indefensible. So that wasn't a very good game. That was a terrible game. All right. Well, the truth hurts. All right. Anybody want to play five minutes? Five minutes, 1,700, 1,700. Okay. Well, people are challenging me at five minutes. Um, okay. This guy, I think I actually know. So we'll play him. I'm black again. No. Roar. I think yesterday I had black in almost every game. I think I had white ones. I'm very concerned. Okay, e4. I'll play Sicilian because I like that. Well, I'm surprised how bad the last game was. We both made like four mistakes. Yeah, the truth hurts. Okay. Pre move. I haven't played g6 in a long time. I used to play g6 and knight f6 interchangeably, and then I just started playing knight f6. So let's play the accelerated dragon for once. It's been a long time since I've done this. Let's see. It says thanks. Okay, I'll say something. Something. Okay, f3 is a mistake. 
Um, is queen b6 the right move or castles or d5? <sighs> See what happens when you haven't played it in a long time. Um, okay, I think castles is right. Yeah. Although I'm not sure. <laughs> F3 is inaccurate. This queen b6 was possible, but I didn't like that. Okay, take take queen d2. Yeah, this is not good for white. Yeah, he's already much worse. Are we on video? Yes. Castles. Okay, so I can play e5, rook b8, bishop e6. I guess e5. Oh, is my pawn hanging? Take, 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 take. Yeah. So, hmm. Okay, I guess develop a piece. Bishop e6, defending my d-pawn. Get my king rook into the game eventually. And I could take on e4 now because my queen's defended if I want to. More likely, I'll play something like queen a5 and start attacking his king. Yeah, this seems good for black. Seems like I should make this a little lower to capture the letters for you guys. Okay. That looks a little better. All right, well, he's thinking forever. That's good. Maybe he'll even chat some more. So I did my Fisher lecture yesterday. Probably it'll be on our um, Chess Center uh, YouTube page. Not this one, but the one our Chess Center has. Um, probably in about five or six days, I'm guessing. Man, I can take with the knight or the pawn. I sort of like them both. Um, take with the knight, he'll play bishop d4, or take and play bishop d4. So I guess I'll take with the pawn. And then I'll put my rooks on the b and c files and play queen a5. And then I win. Yay. See, chess is easy. Yeah, he's got two open files to his king. He has no pawns in the center. I have a lead in development. I have more time. Okay, bishop h6 I expected. Do I want his queen on h6 so I can mate him? Probably not. So let's play queen a5. And I can try to play rook fc8 and rook b8. And as I said... Seems like his bishop on f1 isn't very isn't really doing anything. Although always play bishop f1. So it's doing that. So today we have our month-long tournament. It's every Wednesday, 7 o'clock. You play a game for the whole month. There's five Wednesdays this month, so you get five games, except last Wednesday we were closed due to weather. Um, everything was closed in Metro Atlanta. It was icy and 10 degrees and terrible conditions on the roads. So it was too dangerous to come here, so we closed. And I think you're allowed to take a half point by any round. I think probably if we didn't close, we have like 24 players in the turn, probably like 15 or 16 would take a half point buys and not come. So there was no reason to have the round. We still have four rounds. This weekend on Saturday, we're having a quad. It's game in 60. And quads are where you put yourself in sections of four and so forth. Um, as I'm playing this game, I was watching Tata Steele, and it um, looks like Wesley's going to lose to Magnus since Magnus has four pass pawns. That's a lot of pass pawns. Queen d4 is a good move. I was going to play rook fc8, but that queen's annoying, you know, so you could play g5. So I think I want to play rook b8 so I can play rook b4 and kick his queen out. That seems like a better idea. So let's do that. I want to play rook b8 anyway, so... I just thought I would play rook c at first. I'm not sure why, but maybe rook b at first was better anyway. So yeah, that's a tough position for him. He's down a minute, and his king seems a lot more open than mine. My king has all the pawns in front of it, and all his pawns are here, so he has no open files to my king. Yeah, I think that's a good move, queen a4. <clears throat> Excuse me, to stop um, rook b4. 
Now I threaten queen b2, and queen b3 loses immediately to queen e3 check, and I take his queen. So b3 looks terrible, but maybe he can play it. And queen a3, that doesn't look good either. Um, after queen a3, probably e d4 is good. So he's in a lot of trouble here. Okay, b3. Um, it's hard not to play rook f c8. Um, you guys, of course, would check because you guys like checking. Then he would play king b2. And then I would play rook f c8. I mean, I should probably just play it now. Okay, and I still have a minute ahead on the clock. And I'm threatening rook takes knight. And um, it looks very difficult. I'm guessing king b2 is right. Um, then if queen e3, he could play rook d3. And if I play queen c5 or queen c7, he could play uh, queen d4 defending his knight. But yeah, I have the initiative, and he still hasn't moved these guys yet. I'm trying to figure out how to get these guys into the attack. Not easy. But yeah, he's playing way too slow. It's move 16, and he has less than a minute left. It's, there's no increment, no delay, so that's uh, not good. Well, this game's not good either. Considering sacrificing the exchange after king b2, but probably won't do it. Um, yeah, don't really see a reason to do that. So he's definitely going to play queen d4 no matter what I do, attacking his knight wise. So maybe I should double rooks, because then queen d4 isn't sufficient. Um, so rook c5 or rook c7 or rook b7. Rook b7 looks bad because of bishop a6. Um, let's see. Rook c7, rook c5. Okay, let's play rook c5. That looks like the best move. Then I can double rooks. And I guess I could also play rook a5 and try to sneak into a3 somehow. It's good to be sneaky. Queen d4. So, okay, this is my plan. Attacking his knight. Um, he can't move his knight because rook c2 is check. So, I guess he has to play rook d3. And then, oh, he can't because rook takes knight wins. And he can't play rook takes as a queen takes queen. And if he takes my queen, I have this, and you know, his position's like, okay, so now I'm just winning. Game's just over. But I was winning anyway, so he didn't really blunder there. It was after I double rooks, it was it was winning for me. And he has nine seconds. Um, I can't stop him from playing king b two. Otherwise, I could really attack. So let's get my knight into the game. Could go this way too. Let's go this way. That way, I have a lot of squares. Um, okay, c five looks right. Because now, if king b two, I can take this. Okay, that's easy to kick out. Yeah, I could play knight takes a4 now and try to mate him, but probably not. Um, let's play a5 now. Just to play queen b4. He could play bishop b5 then. Um, hmm, I should have like a knockout winning blow here, but I don't see it. Like, this wins immediately. Okay, he resigned, so that was the knockout blow. Okay, let's analyze. Um, okay, yeah, so f3 is a known mistake in this position. Castles is correct. Knight c6 is not good. d5 is good. Oh, bishop e6 was the right move. Okay, good. And it wants me to take with a knight, but I thought he played bishop d4, so I didn't like that. Hmm. I guess I could play f6 and bishop f7 and e5 eventually. So it's probably okay. Let's see. Uh, okay. So I took bishop h6. It does want me to take on h6 and then attack on the queen side, and his queen isn't defending. Thought about that. Oh, well, I guess I should have done that. Um, this is still good for me. And rook a b8 is correct. Queen, yeah, that's actually a blunder because of queen b6. Queen a3, I thought d4 was good, but it just plays rook fc8 and says I'm winning. 
and then rook f c eight's good. And I played rook c five here. It's playing bishop f five right now. Um because it wants to play rook c3 and rook c8 and take on c2. Let's see what's wrong with my move. Okay, that was pretty good. Yeah, he has to play bishop d3 to defend his c pawn, then he can move his knight away. So after queen d4, I guess it's just dead lost. Yeah. And he's just getting crushed here. And I played, what did I do, knight d7? Yeah. That's fine, that's fine. And this is where he resigned before I could move. Yeah, it wants me to inch closer, but okay, it doesn't matter, plus eight. All right, that wasn't bad, I played okay that game. Um, this is my private student, let's see. And my man isn't on, my guy, where's my guy? Nothing you can say can take me away from my guy. I don't see him. Um, all right, let's play my private student. That's a little bonus for him, right? So I am black every game. I wonder why that is. I wonder what's happening. If I have it set where I'm always black, I don't know. I've had black every game, right? Yeah, okay, I don't know. Um, all right, let's play the King's Indian, if I can. I haven't played that in a long time. I used to play it a lot. Am I playing the King's Indian? Is he playing the London? I don't know. This is my game with Komsky so far. Okay, Komsky didn't play that. I'll try to play e4, winning a piece. That's the goal. Usually the bishop goes to e2 or c4 in this variation. So if I play e5, take, 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 I win a piece. So he probably shouldn't take. He could take with a bishop too, and then his knight defend. Now that would lose. So I guess that's a good move. I mean, if I could play e5 and he can't take it, well, it's a pretty good move. Yeah, his bishop shouldn't be on d3 because of this fork and because it's not defended here. Let's see. Okay, bishop g3, that's probably right. Um, I guess knight h5 because I want to take the bishop and I defend my pawn a little more and I prepare f5. Queen c2. Okay, I want to get this bishop out, so maybe b6. Then bishop e4 is a possibility, but I can play rook b8. So maybe I should play f5, threatening e4. Hmm. Okay, let's do that. Rawr, aggressive. I don't have a drink with me because my wife just bought a lot of drinks. And I just put them in the fridge, so they're not cold yet. But when the video's over, then hopefully they'll be cold. Okay, my guy is on, so I'll probably play Frank next, even though that's not his name. It's his son's name. Um, okay, I have more time. I like my position. Queen's not good on c2, um, and the bishop's not good on d3, so probably black's better here. Yeah, I thought he might do that, but I had a move ready for that. I wonder why, like in the last eight games, I've had black and seven of them. Maybe I'm crazy. When I played this one minute this morning, it's the guy I thought was cheating. I think we just alternated every game. I think. I remember having black a lot. Huh. Very confused. All right. Maybe I'm just crazy. It's possible. Okay, I have about a minute extra. And we're on move 10. So he's playing too slowly. Um, he stopped the e4 winning a piece threat. Castle queen side, which I expected. That's why he played queen c2. Um, I don't like these lined up like this because he could have some tricks. Let's see, if I play e4, I don't worry about this anymore. And I don't know where his knight goes. Now let's do that. Knight h4 looks wrong because it's trapped. And I have g5. And knight g1 and knight e1 both look wrong. This makes more sense, but it, it takes a long time. Okay, that looks like it should lose a piece. Does he have compensation? Maybe. Yeah, he might have compensation. Okay, maybe we'll just ignore that. And I'll just like play in the center and the queen side. And he can have his knight be stupid on h4. 
Okay, c6 hangs by d-pawn, which I almost did. Um, all right, let's play knight b6. So my bishop can get out. I can play d5. Um, yeah, okay. I don't really like that move, but it was getting sort of cramped on, on this side of the board. Hmm. Okay, and then d5, that makes his bishop good. Okay, a5, that makes a lot of sense. Yay. So he probably should play a4, but that's hard to play when you've castled the queen side. I always think there's somebody here, but there's nobody here. We're closed. We open a5. Um, okay, f3, breaking a very important rule. Never play f3. I could just win his knight. Maybe I should have played bishop f6 and won his knight since he couldn't defend it. But I was busy doing other stuff. Yeah, I think the last three moves, I should have played bishop f6. Okay, maybe I'll win two pieces now. I don't know. Okay, I can't win his knight anymore because he has f3 for his knight. Um, I still can't play bishop e6. I'm up a piece. Um, let's see, what should I do? I guess queen g5, threatening e3. Nah, I don't like that. Queen e8 or queen e7. Queen e8 I like. I defend the g-pawn and I can go over here, go over here. That seems like the right move. Yeah, let's do that. And I still have a time advantage. Although I notice I'm playing much um, slower when I talk about the game. But I think I play better. It's funny when I play bridge online and I just play for fun, like with you know, computers. When I'm playing by myself, I play terrible. And if somebody like says, how do you play bridge? <laughs> and then I show them and I play, and then I play great. Because you know, then I talk about what I'm doing and, and I try. So I'm probably playing better and slower. So bishop e6 was one of my ideas. But d5 looks terrible because it opens up my bishop. I'll just go back to d7, defend, keeping my f-pawn defended. Um, but if he doesn't play d5, what does he do? So he so almost wins his queen. Close. See, so my bishop's really good now. His pawns are all weak. He's down a piece. So, so far, so good. Looks good for me. I think queen e8 was a good move. Okay, knight c4, that doesn't look like a good move. Hangs the e4 pawn. Um, so bishop a4, queen b4, and I can't do anything good. I could I could skewer his queen and rook. So, I don't know. This game's so bad. Giving him any kind of counterplay at all seems wrong. <laughs> um, but okay, a rook is a rook. So I'm up a piece, I'll be up a rook. Hard not to be up a rook. Queen c7 is not super dangerous. And then a2 is hanging if he takes on c7. e4 is hanging. f1 is hanging. I can trade pieces if I want. Ooh, that's not a good move. He has to get counterplay here. Okay, now... Still don't want to take this because it's so bad. Let's take this. Threatening e3. Yeah, okay. And this looks pretty simple up a rook and better so so i played okay that game we'll see what the engine has to say but he made a lot of mistakes needs a better teacher rook f3 defending his pawn okay um can't seem to win anything uh all right let's take this guy he has to take with a pawn otherwise his knight's hanging and then probably bishop h6 is right this is very difficult to defend. He didn't really want to play king d2. I can attack it again anyway. Okay, c4. Discovered defense. He discovered it. His queen's overworked. It's defending three things. So maybe I can take advantage of that. I guess g5 wins a piece. I mean, he has a check. But I shouldn't be afraid of check, I guess. Yeah. So I finally did win that knight on h4. Yes. So if he plays queen c3 check, queen e5 wins, bishop g7 wins, king g8 wins, probably play bishop g7. That seems like the most logical. And um, I mean, he should resign here. It's down too many pieces. He still has a lot of weaknesses. Knight's hanging, he's down a rook. Good bishop. My king is safe. And he's 
going to lose on time. Okay. So let's see what the silly engine says about. Yeah, I think bishop d3 is already a bad move. Okay. And then, yeah, it doesn't like. Yeah, so that's a mistake because the queen's not defending the bishop then. Just he should just castle. And then e5 is correct. I played knight h5. Okay. And he should play bishop h4 and save his bishop. I agree with that. Wants me to take the bishop. Yeah, computers like bishops. It doesn't like that because he can save his bishop. Okay, still thinks I'm better. And it does like e4. That's good. And yeah, knight g1 is, is the right move because then his knight can try to come around f4. Still better for me. And I should have played bishop. I, knight b6 is the right move, not bishop f6. It's hard to believe. Well, why doesn't bishop here win a piece? I must be missing everything. Oh, it, it wants me to play knight b6 and then bishop f6. Why, why can't I just go here? Okay, that just wins. I don't know. Computer's crazy. All right. So this move's okay. I should have played bishop f6 or g5 here. I didn't play g5. I thought he would take this and this, but and the e pawn. But now my bishop's out, so I could take with the bishop. So, okay, a5 is okay. And a4, yeah. So I was just basically winning after knight h4. Yeah, he doesn't have any compensation here. Doesn't like queen e, it wants me to take on e4. But I'm still winning, it's just slightly less winning. Slightly. And okay, the rest of the game is just silly. And he should play, I thought he should play queen c7. Why, why doesn't it like that? Oh, because his king is exposed, rook a2 and queen e4. All right, if you say so. In a blitz game, you should take things. And I'm just plus a million. Okay. So, okay, I played pretty well that game. All right, one more game. Um, let's see. Frank is on. So let's play Frank. Where is he? There he is. And he's not even Frank. Um, we'll play Nick. Nick sponsors... Um, the Fisher lecture yesterday. So I'm black again. I wonder what's going on. Do I have a setting where I'm always black? Huh. Or it's a coincidence. Yeah. Um, all right. I don't know. Okay. Usually we play two games. So maybe I'll play two if he rematches me. Yeah, if anybody knows why I'm black every game, it could be a coincidence. It could be a setting I have. I don't know. It could be their software doesn't work. It could be I complained about somebody cheating, so I get black every game now. Um, I actually played this with white. So, okay, I'll play here. Try to transpose into something that I play against the C3 Sicilian. Okay, well, I'll play E5 now. You should not get a chance to play that. Aggressive, rawr. Now, this is three minute instead of five minute, but... When you donate money, you get to play any time control you want. Right. D3. Yeah. All right. Guess bishop f5. Seems like I've at least equalized, or maybe at most. Um, yeah, I'm a queen ahead temporarily. Let's see. Knight takes or bishop takes? Knight takes bishop c2. Bishop takes knight d2. I'll take with a knight. I don't like either one of them. Okay, this is probably equal. Um, bishop e7. Because rook e1's coming. I don't want to be pinned. I'll probably long castle. Let's see, is bishop c2 winning? Might be. Uh, no. But it might be. It just isn't. <laughs> okay, knight d6 might be forced, but it might not be. Okay, and he'll probably trade. And um, I have less time, and I'm not better, so it's not good so far. Let's see. That bishop's annoying, so let's get rid of that. That way my rook can get out, and he's not on my bishop. 
bond structure like this usually favors white because I I don't um, can, I can't go to d4 and he can go to c4. And it, it, it's better for black when I can start gaining space because I have more space. So like c4 and bishop c5 and try to get a knight to c5 somehow. Okay, bishop g5 was clearly a mistake because it just loses tempi. Bishop e3 is a mistake also, I think. Um, well, I want to take it because I want my bishops, but he could take it with a rook. So maybe I just go here and mess his pawns up. I'm not sure what he can do about that. Bishop d2 and bishop c1 look terrible. So I'll just do this because I get a better pawn structure that way. Yeah, so bishop g5 and bishop e3 were both mistakes, I think. Yeah, okay. Um, let's see. He wants to play knight c4, and I want to get my bishop on this diagonal. And I have one minute on my clock. Okay. Well, if there's no time on my clock, I'll trade pieces. And I have a better pawn structure. Well, that was a bad move, letting my knight come in. Okay, let's gain some time, confuse him a little. Okay, good. And I guess I can take this. Don't see why not. And let's threaten the C-pawn. Sure, why not? I can threaten it again if I want. Um, that's a nice fork. Okay, so I'm winning. Yay. 50 seconds should be plenty of time. Oops. I'm showing the move instead of making it. Okay, always retreat. Got some nice rooks here. Got some superfluous knights. Um... Yeah, Phil Collins, if he had white, he would say, just give me one more knight. That's what he needs. Hey, I'm like Magnus Carlsen. I have pass pawns. Yeah, look at that. And I'm not down a piece, though. I have an extra rook. Okay, so 38 seconds is an incredible amount of time. Uh, move your king up in the end game. Some of you are scared, but don't be scared. <laughs> I can make an infinite number of moves with this amount of time on my clock. All right, let's get rid of some stuff. Are my four pawns up or just three? Just three, rawr. I'm furious. Hmm, weird that he hasn't moved yet. Confused. Seems like he should move. Okay, that's well, I can check my phone. Ah, oh, he did move. He knew I was going to check my phone. We'll push our queen side. Can't really do anything. I just push my queen side. He doesn't have any ply. Stopped his rook from penetrating. I don't see anything he can do at all. Still don't, but I will push my pawns. Ooh, that's not a good move. Take more pawns. I uh, should just get a queen, I guess, or two queens. Yeah, 14 seconds is a lot of time. Get the bishop into the game, too. It's a funny checkmate. Yeah. Okay, and I actually have more time when the game ended. Yay. Okay, he hasn't pushed rematch yet. If he does, it, I'll analyze the game. Okay, well. Usually we play two games. He's in New York right now, so he could be busy. Um, yeah, let's see if e5 is the computer move. Yeah, it is. And then I played e4. That's the computer move. And I played knight f6. Yeah, bishop f5 actually makes more sense. Okay, but, but this is fine. Yeah, this is all good. Yeah, these moves are all good. Okay. Yeah, we're playing well. It doesn't like him taking an f5, but I don't know if I don't... Yeah, it's fine. Okay. 
And yeah, bishop g5 and bishop e3 are both bad moves. This position is just equal. Yeah, now I'm better. And yeah, he's already worse here. I wants me to attack attack his knight. Yeah, that's, I didn't see that idea. That makes sense. But I'm better here also. Yeah, he should take with a rook because that way his king can go to f2 and there's less attack for me when there's less rooks on the board. When he has weaknesses, I want a lot of pieces. So here I realized my time was running out, so I played knight e5, which is okay. Let's see. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's a blunder because he missed knight d3. And then always repeat. And then he's already lost. He has to defend his pawn, but he's still losing. But that's a terrible blunder. And the rest was easy. Yeah. And then I kept missing lots of checkmates. Let's see. Oh, I have mate in three. Okay, I didn't play that bad, actually. Okay, well, that's the video. Hopefully the sound is better. You didn't hear the click, 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 click. I don't know why you'd want to. I mean, I don't want to. I want to when I'm playing, so I know my opponent moved. But if I was watching a video, I wouldn't want to hear click, 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 click. But some of you guys do, so I don't know. Um, yeah. All right, so we played like three or four games of five minutes, and we played a three-minute game. So there you go. A little bit slower than usual, and I analyzed the games. All right, you guys are doing it. Whoa. What did I do? I need an adult. You guys did a good job of donating. Um, not too good, but pretty good. And, you know, come to our chess center, hang out. We have a Super Bowl party. I won't tell you when it is, though. Um, I actually had somebody say, when is it? So that was, that was funny. Okay, let's see. When is Ben hosting a simul? When you donate. Rawr. All right. Um, uh, Trump is terrible and um, so forth. See you guys later. Bye.